The University of Nebraska System's multi-million dollar budget shortfall is now affecting a local business. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sarah Feely. The Purple Orchid says they've been providing bouquets to graduates at Baxter Arena for years, but now they're forced to part ways, putting their business at risk. KETV Newswatch, Newswatch 7's Maddie Augustine investigates. Sarah, that's right. The Purple Orchid tells me they've had a great relationship with Baxter Arena for the past six years and we're already looking forward to working the upcoming graduation season. But now they're stuck finding ways to make up for what would be a large portion of their yearly revenue. Opening the Purple Orchid seven years ago, Rachel and Sean Sajayan say just a short year later, they struck a deal with Baxter Arena to sell flower and candy bouquets at every graduation the arena hosted. Flowers spread joy, you know, it, it's great to, you know, celebrate big events with flowers. Each year giving 20 to 23 percent of all sales back to Baxter Arena. But when the couple reached out to finalize this year's agreement, they received this email from Michael Smith, Associate Athletic Director and Baxter Arena General Manager, saying a national company had already offered more and, quote, guaranteed us at minimum $20,000 or 30 percent in commission sales. We feel that the only way to move forward is to have you either match this or we'll need to move in this direction. The Sijayans say the most they've ever paid Baxter Arena was $16,000, but with new strategies. I was like, well, we had some new ideas for this year. We're like, I think maybe we can do it. But that number quickly changed to a minimum of $25,000 and half of the guarantee up front. We're a small business. We don't have $12,000 12, laying mm. around. You know, it's not easy for us to just come up with that. But it didn't stop there. They come back to us and we need to drop your price points as well. You maybe be at $20 or $30 and $40 rather than 30, 40 and 60. The Sajayans asked if more ceremonies were going to be added. The answer, no. There's always so many people that can come through those doors. There's always so many seats. How do we double our sales when the same amount of people are walking through? When they asked why the sudden pressure to pay a certain amount, Smith said in an email, quote, the University of Nebraska system, which includes UNO and Baxter Arena, is projecting a $58 million shortfall. And quote, we have been asked by leadership to look at increasing our revenue sources as not only are we facing a shortfall, but also increases in costs in labor. Leaving the Purple Orchid questioning why their livelihood is responsible for the university system's shortfalls. Some people think just because you own a small business or you own a business, you have money flowing in. <laughs> at all times and it's, it's not true. Feeling the demand was impossible, the Purple Orchid backed out of the deal and a chunk of their yearly revenue. The month of May, that month of May between Mother's Day and graduation season, somewhere in the neighborhood of 20%, 25%, 20 of our entire year's revenue comes from that 30 days. KETV reached out to Smith in an email he stated they are committed to being responsible stewards of its finances and resources and are looking forward to their new agreement with a national floral vendor, which provides the university increased revenue. The Purple Orchid says they still want to help families celebrate their graduates and are looking for new ways to do so. Sarah, back to you.